All right, it's Friday, April 1st. It's about 12.30 p.m. I've got the day off. The tide is high, it has just turned. We're heading in the upper Ashley. Just put in at Bacon's Bridge Landing, Somerville, South Carolina. Pretty nice day, it's a little breezy. That's why I decided to come up into the uh, upper part here. As you can see, we got quite a bit of wind break. I'm gonna go ahead and probably another 15 minutes going upstream here to a turnaround point. And then just drift back, casting a four and five inch green pumpkin with black flake Yamasenko on a three-aught Gomkatsu worm hook. 10 pound test braid. Power Pro on a medium spin cast rig and on the other one I got a about a two to three inch floating blue Rapala. I like to go for the bottom and the top top water always have two rigs ready plenty of structure and stuff here to work all these knees here, these cypress trees. It's good stuff to work with. Yeah, and the wind's really calming down back here in the, all the trees and whatnot. It's about 70, 75 degrees. And Go up here and see what we got. Yeah, it's really pretty out here today. <clears throat> really nice day for the first of April. this bank here all the way back drifting right down here casting towards the shore <coughs> and under all this logs and stuff To me, there ain't nothing better than casting a plastic worm towards a log or something. That that works for me as far as technical advice. If you see a log or something, stumps, whatnot, cast over by it. it ain't no rocket scientry. here at the old hunting lodge it looks more dilapidated than ever tide's still pretty pretty high not abnormally high or anything all right now i'm getting ready to turn around this is my usual turnaround spot if you keep going off to the right it gets a good bit skinnier in fact there's a big old log hanging across there somebody's put a little dock up here this is usually a pretty good spot right here in this clearing. Alrighty, let's turn around, start drifting back, and see what we got. This feels pretty good here. I think I got a nice chunk bass. Holy moly, look at the size of him. This is a pretty good bass. Come on, baby, come on to daddy, come on. Oh, that's a nice bass, here we go. That's a good looking bass right there. Barely got him hooked. Come here, buddy. Come here, big guy. He's not ready yet. There he comes. Come on. Come here. Oh, nice bass. 
Holy moly, and he's hooked perfectly. That's a good two pounder or so. Hold on, buddy. I'm out of control here. Alrighty. Come here, fella. Get you out of here. <clears throat> that is a pretty bass right there. Really nice bass. All right. I'd say he's one, one and a half, maybe two. Boy, they look at that owl. See the owl up in the tree? He's looking right at me. Holy moly. That's a pretty bird. I'm not going to get you, buddy. There he goes. There's two of them. That's amazing. Two owls sitting in that tree. Holy moly. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to move over not to scare him. They are some big pretty birds. The fishing's been pretty good out here today. Those are some big old owls. Look at them. They are beautiful birds. Hey guys. All right, I got to get out of here. I don't want to disturb them. Boy, I got a good one here. Boy, he came up right at the boat and grabbed it. Nice bass, barely got him hooked. Come here, buddy. Yes, nice bass. Nice bass. Holy moly. That guy hit it right at the boat. Come on. Hold on, buddy, I'll get you out. Right at the boat. Nice bass. Ah, oh, damn. GoPro's all over my head. Big old fella. Come here. Hey, he's about a two pounder, maybe. There are nice bass in this river. Hey, he's about a one pounder. All right, buddy. Alrighty. There's a lobo in the low country. And we're taking it back to the landing. Caught about four or five largemouth bass, a couple of one pounders, a couple of twos, and we'll see you next time.